Hello fun guys and welcome to the first channel about fungi. Today we will talk about sexual reproduction of fungi. During sexual reproduction cells at specific stage of development may have a different number of chromosomal sets or in the other words cells may have a different ploidy. A haploid cell has only one set of chromosomes and is designated as N, while a diploid cell contains two sets of chromosomes or 2N. The term haploid came from Greek haplos, meaning single, and prefix D means two. The number of chromosomes in one complete set is specific to the organism. For example, if a haploid cell of some hypothetical fungus has eight chromosomes, so N equals eight, then diploid state 2N will be two, by 8 equals 16 chromosomes in one nucleus. I decided to explain sexual reproduction cycle of fungi on some example that all people are familiar with. That's why I picked uh, fungi which produce mushrooms. Mushroom producing fungi belong to division Basidiomycota. That's why some term I'll be using for explanation of topic will have prefix Basidio. The sexual cycle starts from the meeting of two compatible fungal cells. So here you can see the haploid hypha of mating type 1 meets haploid hypha of the other mating type 2. The mating type is equivalent of genders for fungi, so theoretically we can say that mating type 1 plays role of paternal organism, while mating type 2 is a maternal organism. The main idea of turn mating type is to show that two organisms are genetically different. The next step is a fusion of the cellular content of two compatible hyphae without nuclear fusion. This step is known as plasmogamy. As a result, two intact nuclei, each nucleus from each parental hypha, are enclosed in the same cell, forming the carrion. D is 2 and carrion is nucleus. Since two nuclei are haploid, dicaryotic cells are haploid as well. In order to show that dicaryotic cell contains two individual haploid nuclei, the state of a cell is indicated as N plus N. The next stage is the formation of the fruit body. I already made a video about life cycle of mushroom. There I showed all stages of fruit body formation, but I didn't touch their sexual reproduction process. So if you haven't seen this video or you want to recap the information, please go to this link and enjoy watching. Fruit body of basidiomycet fungi has another scientific name. Basidiocarp. The mushroom consists of dicaryotic hyphae and the rest of the sexual reproduction processes go at the specific site of fruit body, at hymenophore. Hymenophore is a part under the mushroom cap. Hymenophore could have a different morphology of the surface. In our example, hymenophore consists of gills or lamella. Now let's take a look at one separate gill. Each gill is covered by thousands of spores forming cells. Basidia. At this stage, each basidium is dicaryotic, it still has two separate nuclei. Karyogamy is the next step in the sexual reproduction of fungi. At this stage, two haploid nuclei fuse, creating zygote. In most fungi, the zygote is the only cell in the entire life cycle that is diploid. After, zygote is subjected to meiosis. In general, meiosis is a type of nuclear division which results in genetic recombination and producing of four daughter haploid nuclei. In this case, all nuclei will be genetically different from the parental nuclei. That's why, on this illustration, I colorized nuclei differently. Then, basidium forms four horn-like cellular extensions, known as stegmata. The nuclei gradually migrate to the tips of the basidium, and one nucleus will migrate into each spore that develops at the tip of each sterigma. At the end, four haploid basidiospores will be developed from a single basidium. After maturation, basidiospore will germinate into haploid hypha and cycle may repeat.